today we are going to learn about chapter number one introduction to environment why environmental education is important let us study that environmental education is an integral process which deals with men's interrelationship with his natural and man-made surroundings including the relation of population growth pollution resource allocation and depletion conservation technology urban and rural planning to the total human environment so education should be an integral part with his natural and man-made surrounding so you should know where you are living why you are living and what is your relationship with the environment that's why environmental education is important as population is growing day by day we need to conserve the environment by using different technology also so if you are educated about environment you will be able to develop technologies which are helpful to conserve the environment the need of the day the objective of environmental education is to make public aware about the environmental problem and importance of environmental protection it gives us basic understanding about various aspects of environment and its associated problem so you can learn different aspects different possibilities of how environment is affected or what is environment and the problems associated to that third it teaches us the concept of sustainable development we'll be also studying what is sustainable development in detail but in brief i can tell you sustainable development is using of technology to conserve the environment but the technology is such that it helps in conserving the environment for example rain water harvesting is a part of sustainable development you develop a building but you also develop an element in that building which helps in harvesting rain water so you are not living in a hut you are living in a building structure only but you are also thinking about the environment that is known as sustainable development the other one is it gives an idea about beneficial use of natural resources without damaging it much so one of the famous example of using natural resources what solar energy wind energy tidal energy can be utilized these are free energies and that can be utilized so that the energy consumption of fossil fuel is less it teaches us how to conserve energy and save our planet it develops skills to identify the environmental problems and their solution so by learning environment we will develop such kind of skills so that we can conserve the environment what is the environmental education's objective the first objective is increasing awareness of total environment increase the knowledge of environment improve attitude towards the environment provide motivation for environmental protection a prime minister is also doing the same thing he is running a campaign named swachh bharat abhiyan where he is telling us to not to throw waste anywhere it should be thrown in dustbin only and we should not pollute the environment by throwing waste anywhere so here you can see your attitudes improve your skill improves your knowledge improves your you are aware towards the environment and you also participate you take interest because ultimately it is going to affect on us only because if we destroy the environment it is ultimately going to affect us only so these all factors are important to conserve the environment or to preserve the environment environmental education principles let us study about that environmental education considers environment in totality 
second it is not a one shot learning process but it requires a holistic approach as it is multidisciplinary in nature environmental hazards are controllable and every citizen has a moral obligation and responsibilities towards this education must be given to all section of the society help learn to discover the system and causes of environmental protection importance of environmental education in different engineering discipline so why an engineer should study about environment what is the need he should only study about the technology no it is not that you can only develop technology if you know the problems related to our surrounding if you know the problems you will be able to develop solution for that problems and one of the major and important problem right now is environmental degradation so as an engineer you need to give solution for that problem so in different engineering field environmental science is studied so you can develop solution according to your field so first mechanical engineering why mechanical engineers need to study environmental science it deals with design and operation of many combustion process so mechanical engineers design cars or design machines which releases different gases in the atmosphere so what can be the solution to reduce those gases in the atmosphere he or she tries to increase the efficiency of combustion process as incomplete combustion lead to production of carbon dioxide and other air pollutant use of refrigerator which have higher global warming potential which may eliminate the use of environmentally second is civil engineering demolition and construction waste are produced in large quantity in various work related to civil engineering civil engineers releases most of the solid waste in the environment during the construction activities so if a civil engineer is aware of the problem caused in handling and disposing of waste in mumbai there is a situation where they don't have land to dump the waste generated by demolishing the building they have to take appointment so there is waiting of one year just to dump the waste that is the situation right now electrical engineering production energy by conventional energy resource cause depletion of natural resource and large amount of pollution power sector is one of the largest contributor of pollution in the environment basic knowledge of different types of pollutants produced in power generation and their impact on environment will reduce the environmental degradation so as electric engineer you should know what are the gases what are the elements released in generation of electricity and according to that you have to produce solution that's why you study environmental science computer and it engineers it includes of e waste its source and impacts on the environment so computers and it engineers mostly will be working with computers of course and they will be generating more and more amount of electronic waste in the environment so as computer engineers with a sound knowledge of environmental science would try to develop technologies which can upgrade existing computer and it gadgets easily thereby reducing the need of replacing the existing one thank you for watching this video and in today's lecture let us summarize what we learned today we learned about about environmental education why we need to learn about the environment what is the importance of environmental education what are the principles of environmental education 
and what are the objectives of environmental education what should be our attitude towards the environment how we can conserve the environment how we can motivate other people and ourselves about the environment then what we studied about is how different engineering discipline can contribute towards environment like computer engineers and it engineers why they need to learn environment science and how they can contribute towards environment similarly for mechanical engineers and civil engineers there are so many examples how mechanical engineers helped in conserving the environment even how civil engineers help in conserving environment by using the concept of green building which we will study in the next lectures of environmental science thank you for watching this video and in next lecture we'll learn something new thank you